In this um, video, we're going to go ahead and add a Pareto chart. Uh, and also, along with making a Pareto chart, we've talked about how to do stratification of categorical variables. However, oftentimes, the, uh, uh, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up stratifying data that is continuous. In this example here, you can see a continuous data where we're looking at the number of trailers that are made over uh, three months worth of data that's here. So when it, for it's continuous, we have to go in and we have to make our own categorizations of that data. We need to put it in the buckets that matter. Um, and you can put in histograms, you can put in Pareto charts with Excel um, and just let the uh, software tell you where the buckets get broken apart. However, one thing that I have found is that uh, bosses don't often uh, understand why Excel broke things down as they did. Bosses like to see things in, in numbers that are like ones or groups of fives or tens or twenty fives or fifties and you can see from this this data that we have here for the number of trailers that are made um, the minimum well let's see, see if we can spell it there minimum um, value is equals M I N there it is min and we're going to highlight all of the data in our field here again I'm just left clicking and dragging here enter the minimum is 160 the maximum equals start max there we go double left clicked again we're going to select the exact same data so we go from 160 all the way up to 196 um, so that gives us a range of the max minus the min so we have a range of 36 here one of the things that we know from setting up uh, histograms and from um, oh years of experience is that there is the your eye can look at somewhere between five and fifteen categories. Again, the category counts that we're looking for um, for our rule of thumb is um, five to fifteen. What that means is we're going to take and separate our data down to five to fifteen type buckets um, somewhere in that area makes it uh, easy for us to, to work with. If it's less than five, it doesn't give enough granular support to see what's going on. If it's more than 15, it's just too hard to figure out. So usually whatever I, what I do whenever I'm looking at trying to separate data is, if I'm gonna go between five and 15, the middle of that is 10, the range is 36, and so if I took 36 and divide it by 10, that comes out to 3.6. Um, the bottom line on the 36 is that my buckets, because that's what my categories here are, their buckets, need to be about 3.6 um, units large so that I get somewhere between 5 and 15. Well, making a 3.6 doesn't make sense, so let's go ahead and change it to 5. Um, because, like I said, bosses can deal in 1s, 5s, 10s, 25s, and whatever else. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off here and we're going to say our first bucket then is 155 so that we can capture everything up to 160, 160, 165. And at this point, hopefully Excel will be able to, if I left click and drag, it's going to be able to take me all the way up to 200. I've broken this down now. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 buckets that I can work with. Okay. Um, I have my data, I have my buckets. Let's go up here to data analysis. If you haven't added the data analysis tool pack yet, go watch the video on doing uh, on how to add the, uh, the the tool pack. So under data analysis, I can come in and add a um, <clears throat> I'll add a histogram, and with that histogram. What I want is my input range to be all of my data in 
and I want my bin range to be the buckets that I have defined. From here we're going to go ahead and put it in a new worksheet. Let's put it in as a Pareto chart, uh, which is nothing more than a sorted histogram. We want the cumulative percentage clicked on there as well, and we want chart output. At that point, if I click OK, my histogram pops up and says, I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it a little bit so you can see more about what's going on here. Our histogram says that the range that goes from 180 up to 185 occurred 19 times. The range that goes from 170 up to 75 occurred 16 times. The histogram also, oh, sorry, I says still histogram. Since this is a sorted histogram that has it has percentages on it as well. You can see that the percentage of the 180 to 185 is approximately 20 percent. Adding the second one here is almost 40 percent. And so this is how you make a Pareto chart um, out of your data.